our students have had to get pretty creative with how they see each other and TikTok has been a huge part of that. One, crispy M&Ms were a game changer. Two, NSYNC was better than Backstreet Boys. And three, I wanted to be a band teacher. Hi everyone, my name is Katie McCarthy and I'm going to talk about how DMA jump-started my teacher career. I went to DMA for the first time for the band track and the first day I was overwhelmed and thought I had made a huge mistake and it was scary. But throughout the week I found that these really were my people and that I was learning from some people that I had never met before in situations that my band had never been in before and I was having a lot of fun. And it was around this time that I started thinking that maybe I wanted to do this and be a teacher someday too. So when I left DMA after my sophomore year, I knew three things that were true in my life. One, crispy M&Ms were a game changer. Two, in my heart, NSYNC was better than Backstreet Boys. And three, I wanted to be a band teacher. I went back to DMA as a junior and as a senior, both for the drum major track this time. I went for the drum major track my junior year, even though I wasn't going to be a drum major, but I wanted to start learning some skills and to just get more of the leadership advice. I really resonated with me and it made me feel happy with the person I was becoming as a high schooler, which is really hard. My senior year when I was drum major of my high school, I went back with an entire new perspective on everything and was really excited to be on that side, being a drum major and learning everything I had to be about a drum major. After I graduated high school, I went to UMass Amherst and I was in the UMMB and I was asked to join the Intensely Motivated Power and Class Team, our IMPACT team, in 2005 and I have been part of DMA ever since. I've had so many different experiences, both as an IMPACT and then as a staff member, and gotten to meet so many cool people who are some of the greatest friends and colleagues you could ask for. While I was impacting, I was also taking my courses to learn how to become a band director. And in the fall of 2010, I got my first job as an elementary school band director in Springfield, Massachusetts. And I got to start a band program for fourth and fifth graders. And there were some days that were very difficult and I didn't know how I was going to be able to make it through a lesson with three trumpets, two clarinets, five flutes and a partridge in a pear tree, but we made it all the way through. And I spent six years at that job in Springfield. One of the things that I kept coming back to when the days would get really, really hard is to remember to have fun. Fun looked a lot different in the elementary school than it does in the high school where I currently teach. And we would have dance parties to Frozen and we would sing along to Disney songs. So actually it's kind of exactly the same teaching in high school now because my students do all of that too. We like to keep the fun in a lot of different ways. With everything that has happened in the last trimester, our students have had to get pretty creative with how they see each other. And TikTok has been a huge part of that. Our sophomores created a video to keep in touch with everybody and to say hi.
it was a great time. We enjoy dancing. Our Marching Man show this past year was Queen. And we did the songs Don't Stop Me Now, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, and a medley of We Will Rock You, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Another One Bites the Dust. And Don't Stop Me Now kind of became our official anthem. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. Our band went on to win our first gold medal this year, which was really exciting. Because I went to DMA in 2001 as a student for the first time, it really helped me learn that I was capable of so much more than I even thought was capable of. And to have fun in my teaching each and every single day and to really just enjoy everything that life throws at you. Thank you so much and have a great day.